everyone. All right, good news is I'm on my Roman farm. Uh, bad news is the Roman field's not ready yet. It's still got crop on. It's gonna be another week or so. But I have got like, three fields here. I don't know if you can see them. Short stubble. Uh, might be a bit tough in places. It's quite hard stubble, but I'll give it a go. Three fields that I didn't really do very much last year because I was concentrating on the Roman field, so it gives me a chance to crack on with them. But um, yeah. Roman field should be ready in a week or so, he said, so that'll be good. And he's ploughing them as well, so hopefully some good stuff comes up. So yeah, I'm going to spend a few hours on these little fields, see what I find. See you on the first decent target. Alright, there's the first one, guys. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if it's like some sort of button or... I don't know. Nice green patina on it, whatever it is. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just like a cap off something. But yeah. Alright, see you on the next one. And next one's just at the end of a spoon or a fork or something. Looks like it would have some decoration on it though. Not silver, but yeah, not bad. I'm really struggling on this stubble. It's quite hard stubble. And I've only got the 11 inch coil, so I'm sort of smashing it about a bit. But it's the best I've got at the moment, so I'll make do. And just keep going and see what we find. All right, see you next. All right, guys, just got this one out. Looks like it might be something quite quite old, don't know if it's part of an old buckle, I'm not sure, it's definitely something, I'm going to say buckle, I don't know, it's quite nice though, it's like it might have had a bit of detail on it at some point, it's a nice one, cool, um, yeah, it's got quite a nice green patina to it as well, yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, on to the next one. Alright guys, it's like I've got another spoon handle or fork handle or something. Oh, well, actually, it might be a whole one. Yeah, it's a whole spoon. Uh, it's like it would have been silver plated. Yeah, very nice. Alright, on to the next. My next one is just a little bag seal. Nice little lead bag seal. Nothing, there's anything on there. Cool. Yeah, really struggling with this stubble with my 11 inch coil. It's quite difficult, but I have to save up for a small one. But, right, see you on the next one. Alright, just got this one, guys. It's Excelsior. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it must be something to do with a tractor or something. I don't know. Yeah, Excelsior. Cool. Alright, see you on the next. Guys, I have to excuse the wind, but I think I might have my first coin. Let's have a look, see what it is. Oh yeah, little George. Is it George here? Yeah, little George. I can't remember which one it is now. Let's see. Edward the Seventh. <laughs> Actually looked at it with my eyes instead of trying to look through the camera. Yeah, it's Edward the Seventh there now. You can see it now. Lovely. Right, on to the next. Right, looks like I've got a little toy car. It's quite nice. Might be like early 1900s or something, I don't know. It's a really nice little toy car. It's actually complete as well, hasn't been hit by the plough. Cool. Got a spare tyre as well. Lovely. Right, go in. Alright guys, next one is just a little tiny piece of copper. But I was just thinking, it's quite good that the dais is picking stuff up that deep, that tiny, in this stubble. So, I'm not going to be missing any hammers or anything, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to keep going. I've got about two and a half hours left, I think, so let's see if I can find anything good in these fields. Alright, see you on the next. Alright, next one is just a piece of, I think it's a piece of bronze pot or something. So we've definitely got some age around here, looks like it might have a bit of age to it. Obviously I know I've got age around here because I'm right next to my Roman field, but I'm hoping to find some older stuff on these fields for a change. I only seem to find it on one field on this farm, but 
hopefully fingers crossed we'll get the old stuff on here soon as well right see you in a bit next one guys um, excuse the wind sorry it's a little farmer's token by looks of it or lead token um there's like a triangle on there i can't can't really turn around into the sun because of the wind but yeah i'll try and get it cleaned up and i'll show you in a minute yeah, that's pretty cool little lead token Hi guys, um, back out again, my permission, going through the stubble, um, yeah I've only got a few hours so we'll see how it goes, um, hopefully i find something good right next to the Roman field so see how it goes, I'll see you on the first target, see you in a bit. Alright, first decent one is this little square piece of lead, god knows that being useful, but it's different I suppose, perfectly cut piece of lead there, I'm just working my way along these tracks here in between the stubble trying to pick out what I can really it's quite hard going around the bloody stubble still so I just saw the farmer I think he's got a um, broken wheel on his plow so on his tractor so he's waiting to get that fixed before he can start plowing so it won't be long I think he's getting fixed tomorrow so hopefully by the weekend I'll be sorted all right I'll see you on the next one all right just a little button on that one first button of the day lovely all right see you on the next all right there's the next one guys little pistol shot it's about as good as it's got I've had a few other targets little bits of lead and um, random bits really nothing major but it's really frustrating because I am um, well if you just look there behind that bush is where I found all my Roman coins and my um, all my Roman brooches and the silver Roman ring and everything last year so I'm literally just that far away just got to walk across there behind that bush just waiting for all that crop to be taken off but yeah, it's frustrating because you think the Romans must have been here as well. Like a massive, this massive hill that I'm on. You just think the Romans must have come across here. Why would they just stay on that one tiny little bit of land there? They were dropping like nearly, I found a hundred Roman bronzes over there. Loads of stuff, but never mind. I'll keep going. Got to find at least one Roman on here somewhere. All right, I'll see you on the next one. All right guys, next one, just a big bit of lead. Well, not big, but just a little bit of lead. Nice little soft piece quite white so always indicates a bit of age around here well I know there's age around here it's next to the Roman field but you know what I mean all right I'm gonna keep going see you on the next one all right next one guys is that a big old bloody bullet it hasn't been fired I don't think it's a pretty heavy one as well any ideas what sort of bullet that is I don't know I haven't got a clue about bullets so stick it in the comments if you know nice one all right see you on the next Alright guys, got a bit excited when I saw that one. I thought it was a little Roman, but it's not. It's a little nail. It could be a Roman nail, you never know. Well, some people might, but I don't. But yeah, it's not the Roman coin that I thought it was. Alright, see you in the next one. Alright, this is the first one I've had that actually looks like it could be something. Um, not sure what it is. It's got a little hook there. Maybe it's like a clothes fasten or something, maybe. Got some detail on it there though, like a little flower. Like a little flower there, and some more detail going up there. It's obviously snapped off there. Yeah, it could be like a little clothes fastener or something. I'm not sure about age. Maybe Tudor. I don't know. Just guessing really. Yeah, could be something interesting. I'll put a picture on after I've cleaned it up and see what it's like. Alright, see you in a bit. Hi guys, I think I've got my first coin of the day. Popped it out of the side there and it just landed down. No, popped it out of the side there and it's landed down there. That's what I meant. There it is. Um, I think it's a George box it. Not sure which one, but it looks like a George. Oh, dropped it back in the hole. And just stand up. Uh, I think that's a George of Sick, was it? I'm not actually sure. Oh no, it's Edward actually, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's an Edward. Oh, okay, cool. Very nice. Probably another, I think it was a penny actually, that one. I think the one I had the other day was half penny. That one must be a penny. Alright, cool. Alright, see you on next. 20p. Yep, that's as good as it's got so far. 20p. 
Oh, on to the next. Oh, this one's just a little lead bag seal. Um, might have a little bit of writing on there, but I don't think I can make it out. Yeah, it's quite nice little bag seal. Alright, cool. Oh, I think got about, well, I've got about half an hour left now, so I don't know how many more targets I'm going to get. It's gone a bit quiet really at the moment, so I might see you again soon, I might not. Alright, there's the next one. Nice big buckle. A banging signal, as you can imagine. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about how old that is, but I wouldn't say it's that old. Just a big buckle. Alright, see you in the next. Alright guys, I just had a bloody heart attack. I thought I'd found a massive gold coin for a second. I don't know if you can see that. Just when it popped out the clod, that just looked like I'd found a big gold coin, but it's a dog tag. Old Rusty. Bloody Rusty, you scared the crap out of me. The phone number on the other side, but yeah, that really did make me. Whew. <laughs> anyway, right, on to the next. Alright guys, got another coin. This will probably be my last one of the day because I'm on my way back to the car. Um, yeah, not sure what that is. It's quite thin. Um, not sure. Could be a George Third, I think, maybe. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'll have a little clean up and I'll let you know if I get time. Right. Probably see you on the outro now. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys. That's the end of that one. Um, yeah, loads of bloody rubbish I had. I couldn't even feel most of it, to be honest. Um, and a few decent finds there. A lead token, whatever it is, I think looks quite nice. I'll try and work out what that is when I get home. Um... Edward the Seventh, a little bit of bronze, but yeah, loads of stuff I didn't film. Seriously, my finds pouch is just full of rubbish. There's loads of rubbish on those fields, but hopefully, if I work my way through it, there might be some good stuff to come. Um, yeah, there's well, it's all rape rape stubble, so it's really hard work. Some of it's like six, seven inches tall. It's just hard work with my eleven inch coil. So yeah, if anybody wants to donate me a small coil, that'd be nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna wait. Well, I'll probably go back a couple of times but the roman field's getting done until the end of the week so and he said he's going to plough them so hopefully next week or so i'll have some better hunts coming off this land so all right i'll see you on the next one please like and subscribe laters